Hi Aquarius, this is your weekly reading for the 5th to the 11th of June 2023. Then we have the, instead of the extended reading, we have the love reading and the finance reading. And this part will be for the whole month. Okay, this is what I'll be doing because I just am so busy. I'm so sorry that I have to, and that's why I'm changing it. So seeing whether you enjoy this, please do let me know in the reaction. So here we go. We, you come in with the four of um uh, once this means you could be getting a proposal you could be getting married or you could be moving home if you're not moving home or getting married then you might be invited to celebrations or you might be holding an other type of celebration you have the throat chakra here so communication is of the essence if you find it difficult to talk to somebody then Please um, meditate or concentrate on your throat chakra or any of the other chakras that will be mentioned in your reading. Also, you could be dealing with an Aries and the question, if you've got a question, the answer is yes. With the four of wands, it's a positive energy. So community and communication is of essence with this card the community because you can see the, the four poles the wedding people coming together and the throat chakra communication so com communication is of essence perhaps there could also be reunions at these gatherings or celebrations definitely you could be meeting new people as well and it means for me that you will could be partnering up or making new friendships whether it's in romance or in business the, this partnership will be built on solid foundations as the four poles or the ones uh, um, represent stability and productivity and creativity that's the all over energy for you Aquarius we also have the fall the fool is innocent, naive, he hasn't got the life knowledge or the life experience. So perhaps you could be starting something new, because this is also called, uh, or ha resonates with the leap of faith. In some decks, it's called the leap of faith. Taking a leap of faith into the deep. But if you can get some more knowledge, then mm, that will be uh, to your advantage. You also have the uh, Uranus here. That means responsibility and discipline. Sorry, Uranus means rebelliousness and um, uh, revolution. So you, somebody could be uh, playing up because they're immature. They might be rebellious or you could be rebellious. So be aware of somebody that can be struggling against your advice or uh, what you want or what you would like to jump into something new because it does seem to me that you are bored of the same routine or the same things you want adventure you want excitement like taking the leap jump into the deep end of the swimming pool you want to go for it you want to go for something that you want You've also got the crown chakra. So it's an idea that you want to put out into the material world. Well, make sure that it is the right time, the right place. I'm taping this on the 4th of June and we have the full moon today. Okay, so definitely make your wish um, uh, uh, today when you see the full moon. Don't, don't be too rebellious though. Take it slowly and easy. You don't want to appear the fool and you don't want to be foolish either. Definitely with the fast moving energy of Gemini and it is also Sagittarius in, um, uh, uh, in Gemini. So definitely be, um, uh, be alert. And if you can get more information before you start this new journey, then that's great. Don't throw an old pair of shoes away before you've got a new pair. Again, you've got Saturn here as well. That is also a planet that is very um, 
fast and very uh, fighting, uh, uh, not fighting in the sense of war, but thirsty, thirsty, um, wanting to go for what you want. So don't go against the, the stream or the current of Saturn. Saturn also means responsibility and discipline. So definitely be disciplined and um, wait for the right moment to jump in. Don't leave something old before you've made a replacement, like don't leave your job. Don't walk out of a job because <clears throat> bills will still be coming in. You could be dealing with a Pisces and the answer is no. But eight means it's the eight of cups. It means um, you are in your power. Don't be too big headed. Um, and that's what I'm hearing somebody saying. Don't be foolish and do what you want to do at this time. Wait until the time is right. That you are in the right place at the right time. Open your solar plex. That's your emotional chakra. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your ideas. Let your ideas, like the crown chakra, let your ideas come into the material world. And make sure that your ideas uh, are grounded on solid foundations. You don't want the tower moment to come in. Whether it's in a job or a business, starting up a business, partnering up in business or in romance. As you've got the two of cups. Be emotionally uh, with your mind, your solar plex and your heart. And be in balance. You could be meeting your soulmate or you could be uh, changing your uh, idea or perspective on a friendship uh, into a more professional friendship or partnership or romantic partnership. But try to keep balanced. Be united and on both all the fronts if you uh, are meeting somebody new or if you are saying yes to a proposal of uh, coming together, being united. Like I said, there could be engagements, marriage, um, uh, living together. But I've got a feeling you're more of a traditional kind, Aquarius. you rather get married than live together. Again, being on your own, taking time out to think about it. You might take a retreat or do a retreat and could be midweek or weekend away. Number nine means an ending. Uh, the hermit means also that you could be dealing with a Virgo or meeting a Virgo. <coughs> Chiron is also in your reading and Chiron is the planet of pain and healing. So try to heal the pain, especially because we are getting closer um, to um, uh, Virgo. So perhaps now, between now and Virgo time, you might want to take some time out and isolate yourself to meditate or learn to know what you want to go within, meditate, contemplate and evaluate. Or in any way, isolating yourself and trying to think, taking time out to think uh, which, uh, where the light is showing on your path. Now also, um, I've got the wrong cards. I forgot to change these cards. They, those were for uh, Capricorn. Okay, I think. And so I'm going to choose another one. Okay, here we go. Whoa, well, this is meant to be. You've got the Divine Aid, Nobleman. So definitely um, Archangel Michael card uh, is coming out. And it says, Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key um, ushers in the arrival of a noble man to assist you in your time of need. That could be the hermit, a noble man, somebody that is an advisor, a noble man. Right, wow. Purple is a spiritual card and you do have two spiritual characters. Because he was born from a cave. He's very spiritual. And coming out, this card is going within. So 
some i i think that if you are meditating like i said you might be going within to find a stronger version of yourself now you've got the brown angel feather so ground yourself okay and both these characters are standing on the ground looking down you can only and one is looking up one is looking down these two are looking down and towards each other wow yes uh, i'm also hearing somebody saying don't look down onto others and don't let people look down on you the only time you look down is when you <clears throat> give somebody a hand look down to lift them up the practical approach is required the angels advise you to focus on practicalities at this moment one step at a time like i said don't walk out now it's not ready the time isn't ready yet wow and here we are we've got virgo we've got cancer cancer take some care of you yourself and then you can take care of others this is the feminine uh, so you could be taking care of yourself letting your feminine side nurture you to heal up definitely really beautiful balancing your emotions and your intuition your spirituality but it is time to ground yourself with the brown angel feather it's grounding yourself that is virgo as well grounding meditation so definitely uh, get prepared for this new beginning take some time out if you can let things go open your solar plex and your ideas you've got the crown uh, third eye chakra here twice so i see you need to see something you need to confront your fears i believe so that you can uh, when this journey starts and then and it's going to start pretty soon because you've got the ending here okay something massive is going to come in that will make you celebrate go out and celebrate wow beautiful I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care and I'll see you the next time around for your finance and love. Bye-bye.